What would motoring be if you didn't have the tools at your disposal to listen to almost any kind of music possible, be it radio, CD, an MP3 player, or even a portable USB drive? Thankfully, your Mini is well up to the challenge. But before we go any further, please note that audio controls are different depending on which radio your car has. This segment is for Minis with the optional Mini Connected or Navigation System. So to follow the steps listed here, make sure your Mini Center Stack matches this one. Now, to see how in-depth the audio system is, let's take a look at some of its functions. First things first, turning the stereo on. Now to do this, first, locate the knob just below the CD player. Press this once to turn the stereo on and once more to turn it off. To adjust the volume, rotate the same knob to the right or left while the stereo is on to raise or lower the volume respectively. If you like to adjust the bass, treble, and fader effects of the stereo, locate the navigation joystick, which is right behind the gear shift. Press the home button, indicated by an house icon, and then rotate the joystick until the radio option is highlighted on the screen. Press down on the top of this joystick to select this. Next, scroll over to the tone option by rotating the joystick dial. Once you select this, you will see the bass, treble, and fader effects come up on the screen. Use the joystick again to scroll through and press to select the desired effect. Now once selected, use the joystick again to adjust and then press one more time to store. As mentioned, your mini stereo offers four different audio inputs. Let's take a look at how to cycle through them. This can be done in two ways, through the buttons below the CD player slot or by using the nav screen. To choose a source using the buttons, find the source button, which is marked by an icon with a stereo next to a CD, press it to cycle between the audio sources. To do the same through the navigation screen, use the nav joystick and press the home button on its upper left side. Rotate the joystick until CD slash multimedia is highlighted and then press down on the top of the joystick. Next, you're going to want to lean the knob to the left to view all of the CD slash multimedia options and rotate the joystick in either direction until the desired source is highlighted. Press down on the joystick to select the audio source. Now that we've seen just how to switch between the audio sources, let's take a closer look at how the stereo functions change for each one. As with before, each source can be controlled by either using the buttons below the CD player slot or by using the joystick. Let's start with control of the radio using buttons. To switch between AM or FM stations, press the AM or FM button right here. In addition, if you would like to scan through radio stations that aren't in your presets, use the arrow buttons to seek through available radio stations in your area. Now using the joystick, go under radio, and you'll be able to select AM, FM, or satellite as your radio source by rotating the joystick. You can then seek through available stations by rotating it again. If you would like to adjust the tuner manually using the joystick, rotate it until manual is highlighted on the screen and press down. Rotate it either direction to tune the radio one digit at a time. Through this system, you also have access to your 6 AM or 12 FM presets. To view these, rotate the joystick until presets are highlighted and pressed down. Then rotate it to cycle through your presets. The station that is currently playing will be highlighted on the screen. Next, let's take a closer look at the CD player's functions. To control the CD player using the buttons on the center console, make sure that CD is selected as your audio source. Once it is, you can use the arrow buttons to select the track of your choice. Using the nav system for CD control is just as simple. Now once CD is selected, rotating the joystick will toggle through available tracks and pushing it in will select that track. To listen to a portable music player, connect it to the auxiliary input jack located behind the shifter. Next, you can select USB, iPod, Bluetooth, or aux front as your audio source using either the buttons or the joystick located under the external device menu. The first option for your listening pleasure is the USB source, which allows you to listen to audio files loaded onto a USB drive. Plug your preloaded USB drive into the USB slot right behind the shifter. Select USB as your source under the external device menu by either using the buttons or you can use the joystick. Now once it's selected, you can use the arrow buttons or the joystick to skip forward and backwards through the drive's audio files, just like using the controls for listening to a CD. You can also perform a similar action for iPod and aux front. What's really cool is if your phone is equipped, 
is listening to your music through the Bluetooth option. First, make sure your phone is paired to your Mini through the Bluetooth menu. Next, through the CD Multimedia menu, select Bluetooth, and you should see your phone here. Once you do, go ahead and select it. Make sure that the Bluetooth Audio option is checked off. Now you can control your music selection through your phone. Now make note, you cannot control your tracks through your vehicle. It can only be done through your phone or music player. And that's how you use your audio system through Mini Connected or Mini Navigation.